Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be about Tana Mojo wanting to fight Bella Thorne, Austin McRoom being a dick, and much more. But before we get into it, make sure to subscribe to this channel, turn your post notifications on, and give this video a thumbs up. All right, let's get into it. As you guys may or may not know, Tana Mojo and Bella Thorne dated a couple of years ago. I thought it was a fake relationship at the time, and so did a lot of other people, but apparently not because they had a very messy breakup. Who knows, actually it might still be fake and they're still fighting for the clouds years later, but basically these two have been going at it for months now. And last week Tana tweeted, I'm not gonna text you back cause you suck. Sorry we couldn't work out, but you could box me if you don't fuck with me so bad, baby. Unless you afraid, let's shake it up. You'll make more money than OnlyFans finessing. And if Shadi ain't want it, who does? I don't think she cares about Bella. She just seems to want that boxing bag. One person tweeted, sorry, but you're not Jake or Logan Paul. You're not gonna get a multi-million dollar purse and no one is going to fall for this LMAO. She's also talked about it to reporters and live on Instagram multiple times since then. Bella Thorne, if you're watching this, fight me. I, I kind of overheard that you were gonna you, you wanted to come out of Bella Thorne. I can't lie, I really do. I hope she will accept the offer. I like money so much, Bella. You're just only fans, you know, out there scamming your way to a bag. So it's a big bag. Dude, there's no way. There's absolutely no way this girl could fight. Like, don't get me wrong. I'm all about girl power and shit, but like Tana Mojo and boxing. There's just no way. What, what round would you take it, take her out on? See, I, it's an interesting thought because I wonder if she would even do it and take it seriously. But I think I might be, I might be angrier than this. So, are you gonna punch or pull her hair? Um, I pulled her hair enough, baby. Oh! Everyone's telling me to call out Bella. Thorne. Yeah, call out Bella. Call out Bella. Everyone's call out Bella. So is the boxing match confirmed with you and Bella Thorne? I am trying so hard. I'm trying so hard. I got the most amazing offers from Chile. I have a question. When that boxing match happens, can I have all access? Of course, of course. I just don't know if Bella will fight. So it might be someone else, but no matter what, Trilla has a bag. So. Do you need a training match? Um, no. <laughs> no, no. No, look at me, look at me. I'm at the club. I'm at the club. Fully, fully. I'm high as but the second I sign that contract, dead sober, I'm doing it. 100%. Why do I have a hard time believing that? Do you think Bella's afraid? I'm nervous, I'm nervous. Everyone's coming for me right now on TikTok, I'm scared. Do you think Bella's more nervous? I don't know if she'll accept. A uh, part of me feels like she's so nervous she might not, but f*** that bitch, you know? Amazing, amazing. I don't like her, that's why I think, Kevin, honestly, that's why I think it'd be a good fight. It's like, what's the, yeah, what's the one, one, one thing that you don't like about Bella? What kind of question is that? Well, we just don't get along. We dated, we had a terrible breakup, so it's almost like if we were to fight, it'd be so much more worth it because there's so much anger there. Very unrelated, but does anyone else find Tana Mojo's voice kind of hot? Nope, just me. All right. For all the OG Tana viewers out there, do you guys remember that one story time she made when she was like 17 about the time g -Eazy, like picked her out of a group of people to f her when she was like 15. Well, that story was recently corroborated by RCL Beauty, who spoke out against a similar situation um, that she had with G Easy. Okay, I'll do a really fast one before I go to bed. But basically, like we were both leaving this party. His friend was like, "Hey, are you coming to the after party?" And he was like, "Uh, yeah." He's like, "Are you bringing anyone?" He was like, "Uh, let me think." Uh, uh. He like points to me, goes, "Uh," and then continues pointing around, like trying to find uh, like a girl, I guess, to take home. And he's like, uh, you, do you want to come? She was like, no. But it was just like so, cr like, what are you? Like, there's no amount of money that you could pay me to leave with him, first of all. Second of all, like, why are you pointing? Like, any girl's going to say yes to going with you. Like, you, it was so creepy. Like, he literally thought he, like, owned all the girls there. He didn't talk to anyone. Like, I just had the misfortune of standing near him. Like, I had no interactions with him. He, like, pointed at me. No, ew, creepy. Wow. Moving on, Austin McBroom is a dick. <laughs> Someone posted this video of him being offered a piece of clothing from a fan and him responding being like, I don't want that <laughs> Like, how freaking rude. Just take it and give it away later, maybe. Or at least be appreciative, but be like, keep it. I have way too many clothes. Like, I don't know. Literally anything could have been a better response. And Trisha Paytas seems to agree. This guy is the ultimate douche. He's got some serious anger issues. 
Remember when they thought it would be cute pretending to be fast food employees for the day, but just mocked them the entire time? Or when they only donated 1% of that charity b-ball game to charity? Some people did defend Austin though. One person said it was bad timing for her to be offering him a shirt. He just got shoved by bitch hall. I get that he shouldn't have said it like that, but it was just bad timing. Another person said, it's a shame he's representing Team YouTube for the main boxing fight. I want him to win against Bryce, but I also don't want him to win. Oh my god, yeah, it sucks that the only two people competing are complete dicks. Like, I can't choose which one annoys me more. Also, Ethan Klein responded to Mike Malak talking about him in Aiden Ross's stream. Mike was very pissed that Ethan and Trisha questioned his intelligence and said that his brain was made of hot dog meat. But he was even more pissed about what Trisha had said about Mike and FaZe Banks having allegations against them. So Ethan brought that up on his podcast. And I guess Mike was and cross because he said he didn't, I, but I don't. That is a big thing to say about somebody if it's not true. Yeah, I agree. He might deserve an apology for that. I mean, depending on what allegation he's talking about. If the allegation is that he has hot dog brains, then... That I don't apologize. I make no apology. <laughs> that part's true. I feel like we could prove that scientifically. In response to Mike asking them to do an IQ test competition and donating the funds to charity, he says... How about this, Mike? But yeah, You we... donate a piece of your brain and we analyze it. And if they prove it's not like... Uh, uh, Frankfurt's finest, then I donate $10,000 to charity. He also responds to Face Bank saying that he's okay with the jokes Ethan makes about him. By the way, he says he's he's down with the humor and he thinks it's funny. Well, his, the last time I goofed on him, he said he's infinitely smarter and more successful than me, which sounds like a little insecure. But he was in the room really with Keem at right. the time, to be fair. Who, Keem swag. You know, he's got to match that energy, mm -hmm. the Keem hate. So. Death to all Jews vibes. Right. And while we're on the topic of Mike Malak, he rushed into Aiden Ross's room during a stream where Aiden's two friends gave him a pass to say the N-word. Here's the clip. Aiden! What? You don't have the f***ing pass! I don't? I don't care what they fucking Dude, say. what are you doing, bro? I don't have the f***ing pass, bro. I was f***ing in bed, I get a f***ing emergency phone call, I don't care who gives you the f***ing pass, you don't have the f***ing pass. I swear, every time Mike is in a clip, I have to spend so much f***ing time censoring his f-bombs like, shut the f*** up, Mike. What are you talking about? No, that shit. You have you see it. Don't, don't do it. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Why is he so mad though? Okay, so I, I can't take the pass. I just got yelled at. I can't. <laughs> what the f was that? When your teacher screams at you. So he just come in here randomly like that? And I guess. I mean, did you leave the door open? Maybe you left it open. And to end things off, here's a video of a dick streamer yelling at fast food staff for telling him to wear a mask. <laughs> Can I use the bathroom? Why? Because you have to wear a mask, it's a rule. Even the watercraft that you have to go now. Hmm? You have to go now because you see these cameras. You yeah. Have to go watch because I, have to ask you to go I just need to use the bathroom, dude. I can't. I have to ask you to go without a mask. Unless you wear a mask right now. Dude, they're not wearing masks in the White House. You fucking read. Have you not seen? Joe Biden's not wearing a mask. He's the biggest cuck in the world. Sir. You're a cuck, bro. I just want to use the bathroom, dude. Why are you making a whole deal about this? Sir, you need to leave for a couple weeks. Oh, is that supposed to scare me? Is that supposed to scare me, Eric? Is that supposed to scare me, Eric? Are you supposed to be scary right now? Okay, how, how about this? F*** you. You're gay. You suck. I don't give a shit about Jack in the Box. Then why are you still here? Because I need to use the bathroom, dude. Customers only. Could you please go? Thank you. Okay, fine. I'm out of here. He's going to escort me out? What the f***? All right, you guys, that was it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, please make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I post new videos every single week. All right, bye.